Look at that, we're gonna have that Daimler, we're gonna have that Daimler car, we're gonna have him up the inside. Go on, Raymond. Where are we today? Well, we're at Silverstone and we're gonna go round the track in Raymond the 2CV. Stay tuned. Well, hello and welcome to another edition of Wolfie's Wheels. Uh, today you find us at Silverstone for the Silverstone Festival of Motoring, uh, which is really a weekend of classic car racing, uh, another celebration of, of all things motoring, really. And we're in uh, Raymond, the 2CV. Um, we actually left home, today is the 23rd, uh, no it isn't, it's the 27th, 27th? 27th of August. 27th. And we left home actually on the 10th of August, so we've been doing a bit of a a tour around uh, and when we left home um, the mileage on Raymond read 21142 21,142 having of course been around the clock at least once um, and it's now reading 22,137 so that's about five miles short of a thousand miles covered in the last couple of weeks um, it's been an interesting time um, it's not been without fault mainly the uh, the wipers um, as you probably know for two CVs, um, the spindles are prone to wear and when they wear they can kind of go over centre and my wipers did that um, when we left Newbury because we went down to Newbury and then over to, to Brighton and um, I had smoke coming from the motor and all sorts of horrendous things. Um, I did take it apart at the roadside which managed to um, well not get the thing going again but actually managed to, to stabilise the situation and when we went to Brighton, we actually found um, a local 2CV specialist, uh, Mark, at Just 2CVs. Uh, I'll put his details in the uh, description below. Um, and he managed to sort me out with not only some new wipers, uh, uh, spindles um, and motor. Um, he also managed to sort out the rough idling on the car as well. So thanks to you, Mark. Uh, much improvement. Um, so anyway... Um, and we're going to kind of shut up a bit now and the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be running around the track. Um, my lovely assistant Anne here will be doing the um, filming. I don't know much about Silverstone itself so I'm afraid I can't really talk you through the curve names and all stuff like that because I just don't know what they are. Anyway, um, that's it so I'll see you in a minute. Just before we go out on track, I'm going to remind everybody about Raymond the 2CV. Raymond is a Citroen 2CV special, uh, special being the bottom of the range. Um, it's finished in Alpine white. It was made in the Portuguese factory in, uh, in the summer of 1987 and was registered in September of that year at a dealership in London. Um, one of my subscribers called James, hello James, um, has actually asked why it's called Raymond. Well, it's a white special. Citroen 2CV um, and there's a very famous French chef called Raymond Blanc, Ray White and the previous owner christened him Raymond as a result uh, and rather like ships and uh, aeroplanes and things like that if something like this has got a name you you sort of don't change it because it's considered bad luck so hence Raymond the 2CV. Well we're now in the queue uh, to start to get on the track so not long now uh, in front of us is a, a red Ferrari all sorts of things uh, next to a Lotus and the cars are still pouring in and we're off just in a little crawl up to the uh, starters line and now I know what it's like sat on a grid of Formula One uh, the anticipation the formation lap <laughs> join in <laughs> there we go guys and girls we're about to get out on the track so, oh, one at a time and here we go Get your hoof down. Come on, Raimondo. Show these guys what we've got. There you go. 
35 miles an hour under the Adrian Flux Bridge. 40. Oh, we're closing on the Ferrari. We can have him. We can have him. Yay! Yay! And it goes round to the left here. Brooklands, I guess. It must be called Brooklands. So, yeah, oh, this is a lot of fun. Stopping, why are we stopping? Oh dear, right there you go. Look, there's a big screen there. I don't know if you can see us on it. No, not taking the racing line, We're going around the outside of the hairpin. As I said in the adverts, the two CV is as fast as a Ferrari. You can see that because there's one in front of us, and I'd be even faster. There you go. Down. Look at that go. Nothing like keeping to a constant speed. They don't seem to understand that you need to keep momentum up in a 2CV. <laughs> it might not be fast, but you know, every, you've got 29 brake horsepower, it's all precious. You know? Keep slowing down, keep it going. I need to keep off those marbles, and just okay. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> it's on the roadside there. We're going around corners on two wheels. No. no, no, I really should have found out what all the corners are called. Big gap behind us. I don't know if you can see behind us. I don't know whether um, you know we've got one car behind us. Whether something's broken down or whatever. But we're not at the back of the queue by any stretch. Unless they're sending us out in batches. You know, all the powerful cars like two CVs and Ferraris. <laughs> Come on, clown. Not many spectators. So these on the left of us are new houses that are being built by the trackside. I uh, really dread to think how much they are. Be, be well beyond my purse. Probably bought by companies who are going to rent them out for events. Because while it might sound great to live next to a racetrack, I think I'd, I would soon get bored of it every weekend, testing in the week. Get the apex, no he's got the apex, yes, perfect, perfect line. Sort of shopping moving about in the back. <laughs> Seems quite a long lap at these speeds. <laughs> There's a lot of people filming as well. But then it's a quite rare thing to be able to do, I guess. Is this the international pits here? No, I don't know. Yeah, you can hear the marbles flicking up under the car. Might not come out on the, uh, on the thing. I'm sure when we did it last time in the Morgan, it was um, a bit faster than this. Yeah, and of course it was raining on that day and we've only got cloudage at the moment as opposed to actual rain. Well, I'm not saying much because there's not much going on really. It's um, you know, 
Yeah. I don't know why the grandstands here are empty, I don't know whether they're not open. Uh, they've taken a Ford Mustang and everyone seems to just be putting their foot down on this bit smoothly away. We had to go so slowly down that whole straight. Plenty of runoff. We're gonna, we're gonna have that dome We're gonna have that dome oh, We're gonna have him up the inside. Go on, Raymond. Um, oh well. Thwarted by being held up by a Ferrari. I mean, can you believe it? Get that apex, look at that. Perfect, perfect apex. On the outside. You're all going to be hoofing it down the straight. I need to get my foot in as quick as I can. Come on. Land Rover, two CV versus Land Rover. It just seems a very long lap, doesn't it? It does. Just really holding this camera. Sorry. <laughs> Don't forget to be enjoying it as well. Wow. Yeah, it's not ideal circumstances for a 2CV because you just need you know, to, to, to get your speed up and keep it there and all this bursts of acceleration isn't really his forte. Lots of body lean. towards the end of the lap. I think we might well be queuing up to get off. Yeah, queuing up to get off now and there you go. There's, if you look just down the straight there, there's the Adrian Flux Bridge. So this is where we came in. So haven't quite completed a qualifying lap because you're not going to actually complete a full circuit. So I'm afraid we won't be appearing in the racing later today because we haven't qualified. Oh. So there you go, that was a new personal best for me and a 2CV around Silverstone. So in many ways, yes, it's a lap record. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the film. Uh, if you do, please give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, feel free to subscribe, share it with your mates, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's it for now. And I look forward to seeing you in a future episode of Our Wolf is Wheels. Bye.